Hi, my name is Brad. I'm with the Nova's product team, and today we're out in the field doing installation training on our UTM, the Universal Tank Monitor, plus our HDP, High Definition Fluid Pressure Sensor. Uh, allows us to monitor tanks like this one, which is a, uh, a diesel tank on a local farm here. Step one is we're going to locate an unused two-inch port. Uh, this tank has an, an actual plug with an unused port. If we uh, don't have any unused ports, uh, we need to um, install a flapper cap to be able to use the fill port on the right side, or we can use a Y fitting uh, to be able to install in the same two inch port that a vent tube may be in. But very critical to have full venting to atmosphere whenever you're using this product. It cannot be uh, in a single opening where you would use this as the op opening to fill without proper venting. So step one is we're going to remove the two inch plug from the tank. Using an 18 inch pipe wrench, you might need a little larger one depending on how stuck it is. I'm just going to remove the plug. The uh, HDP sensor comes with a two inch to quarter turn adapter. And uh, we want to use fuel appropriate thread tape to help seal up those threads, create a tight fit to keep water from entering in uh, through your sensor opening. So just a few wraps of tape on your adapter. It is plastic, but a good tight fit to make sure we're there. Just a few rounds of thread tape and install that back inside the two inch opening. Careful not to cross thread. We're going to need to open our wrench up. You can also use a very large set of channel locks or other appropriate wrench to tighten up this adapter. So the next step, uh, after we've installed our two inch adapter, we need to get a measurement of the height of the tank on the inside of the fuel holding vessel. So I'm gonna use my tape measure. I've got my spill protection handy. And we're gonna drop the tape measure down into the tank until we feel the bottom. And it's 63, 64 inch, 63 inches to the top of the threads of the tank. Now, this is a double wall tank, and I'm taking note as I pull this out, we have 19 inches of product inside the tank. On some double wall tanks, you can actually have a containment vessel where there's a an opening all the way through and there could be a couple inches of containment on the top as well as the bottom. In this case, there is not. Uh, but if you do run into that, a trick is to use a little bent piece of wire to poke down in the in the fuel op or in the fill opening, slide it to the side and pull up and you would subtract your measurement from the top of the threads to the uh, bottom of the fuel holding vessel to make sure we're not trying to count the containment as the height of the fuel holding vessel. The way the pressure sensors work is we actually weigh the pressure of the fuel at the bottom of the tank. We know that's, in this case, 63 inches of product. It detects a voltage reading. We divide that by the amount of product that's in the tank now, and it calibrates to the actual level that's in the tank at the time of install. So now that we've got our two inch to quarter turn adapter installed, we're gonna carefully drop in our HDP sensor. Now this one is rated for diesel fuel and other petroleum products, not gasoline. There is a special version for that. This comes with a blue protective sleeve on it. We've already removed that. In your case, you'd also want to do that. And we're just lowering this down to the bottom of the tank. 
can feel the bottom of the tank right here. We just continue to insert the rest of the cable. Find the quarter turn and lock into place. That's all there is to uh, it securing in the HDP sensor into your tank. Next step is to plug the HDP sensor into the back of the UTM, our universal tank monitor. It has two ports on the back of the device. If you've never opened one of these before, you need the little installation key with the mounting base. It just rotates in and clicks forward. Very simple. You can either use the installation key, a small paper clip, a small screwdriver, but just insert that into the hole in the front. There's a little latch catch inside there. Press down. It'll release the latch and allow you to open the back. So with a single sensor, we're going to install the HDP sensor on the A port. There's an A port and a B port on the back. With a single sensor, we want to install it in the A port. And if you've watched the other UTM installation videos, you'll know that it takes quite a bit of force to press down the ZAB connector on the cable into the ZAB connector on the device. And that's purposeful. These uh, connectors are barbed. So as you're pressing it down, it's actually seating itself. And we want to seat that O-ring all the way down. So I definitely suggest pressing down with one thumb and pushing down with the other on top there until you can see the entire O-ring is sealed. We're also going to insert the uh, little um, plugs that come in the case to help protect the um, uh, unused contacts. And in this case, we'll just cover that with port B. And then I'm going to take my mounting magnet and rock from the edge. You'll feel it click into place. That's all there is to it. Now we've got our sensor connected to our UTM and we are going to use our installation app next to um, uh, calibrate the device, which is as simple as scanning the barcode on the front, setting the, the sensor uh, length value, that's important as far as we sell four different lengths, two meter, five meter, 10 meter, and 15 meter. And so um, the UTM and the software need to know the length of the sensor to be able to be calibrated correctly. And we'll cover the calibration steps in another video or cut them into this, uh, this, this training video right now. So again, we're gonna go through the installation step, app steps on our phone, but to activate, we're gonna hold the uh, installation key or any magnet next to the LEDs for a count of six and watching for the uh, little green light to come on. And we'll have an inset of a zoomed in shot here about that action. So you just hold it next to the, you see the red light come on. At a count of six, the green light will appear and start flashing and we pull that away. It's going to flash for anywhere between 30 and 60 seconds, depending on how, uh, which cell carrier it connects to. Our universal UTM connects to five different cell carriers. You can use Verizon, AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile, and US Cellular, depending on what's available and what's the strongest signal. So we're just waiting for our green light. If you're uh, quiet, you can hear a little click. Um, and uh, we're going to secure this cable appropriately with a zip tie, probably to this plumbing right here. And um, that's all there is to it. We're going to get down and we're going to use our installation app or call the, uh, the fellows like Tom here that's helping me film today and uh, give them our dimensions of our tank and, uh, and give them the uh, amount of product that was in the time at the time of activation. And that's how we do an install of a UTM plus the HDP sensor.